Hey guys, welcome to YSV Assignments. Welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for the support. Thanks for everything so far. So today on my channel, we'll be discussing another episode of my English language series. So I want to officially welcome you guys to my um, question talk class. So welcome to today's class. All right. So um, the uh, target for today is to learn everything about question tag in ten minutes. So um, hope everyone is ready for this and try to learn everything we know about question tag in 10 minutes so please try and visit my um my website scribblingsuccess.com now did you know that it, the great the key to um great spoken english is knowing the rules of english language this is a generic tip on learning how to speak good english and writing good english knowing the rules of english language will go a very very long way in teaching you this now please check out my um, my last video on adjective order so the link is in the description below so that's episode one of my english language series all right now so straight up into question tag so question of the day what is question tag so today's topic is question tag so now question of the day what's question tag and why do we have to study question tag so simply put a question tag is a short question at the end of a statement or sentence now the use of question tag include to confirm a sentence or to call or to urge a response from somebody now for this class three key things must be known and remembered three key things so number one imperative the number one thing you have to know for this class, for you to really understand this class, is not the meaning of word imperative. What's an imperative? An imperative clause or imperative clauses are used to tell people to do or not to do certain things. So when I tell you to sit down or to please hand me something, I am implying, I am using the imperative clause, okay? So we have two types of imperatives. We have positive imperative and we have negative imperative. So simply put, Imperative, giving you instructions, demands, requests, all those kind of um, sentences. They can be positive or negative. Imperative sentences are also known as directives because they used to give, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, commands, demands, make requests, or offer advice, etc. So, positive imperative to do something, negative imperative not to do something. Straight up to number two, meaning of question tag. So, second main thing we have to learn today is meaning of question tag. Like we said earlier, uh, what's a question tag and what a question tag is used for then the main things about question tag for the class now number three key thing you have to learn today is rules of question tag it's not enough to know the, the meaning of question tag but you have to learn the rules of question tag okay now straight up to the rules so rule number one rule number one and one of the main one a positive statement is followed by a negative question tag what's the positive statement one that has that does not have not in it so jack is from spain there's no not present there isn't he isn't a negative question tag mary can speak english fluently can she so a negative statement uh in, the, in rule number two a negative statement or sentence is followed by a positive question tag so it's the reverse of rule number one so examples now they aren't coming today they aren't coming back today are they so aren't there indicates negative ah without the not indicates positive so now exceptions are the rule number one and two. So before we move to more rules, so let's discuss a few exceptions. Some verbs have different question tags. For instance, I am. Am is a verb, right? But it has a different question tag, which is aren't. I am smart. Aren't I? Stop the dreaming. Will or won't you? So anyone can go. Let's us go home, shall we? Don't stop singing. Will you? So you can see these have flexible um, question tags. They don't have like a fixed question tag where you have to like. Um, no, use can't for can't or something like that. Now, affirmative means um, agreeing with or consenting to a statement or to a request. Okay. Now, so for rule number three, the question tag of an affirmative imperative is both affirmative and negative. This simply means that uh, um, when you agree to something, the question tag from that sentence can be both positive or negative. Example: switch of switch on the radio will you switch on the radio won't you so when you say switch on the radio that's an uh requesting for something okay all right so for more examples we have um kindly post 
the letter William. So it's a, um, it's an instruction. It's a, it's a demand. It's a, it's a it's an imperative, and you can use both negative and positive um, question tag. Will you and won't you? Kindly post the letter. Will you kindly post the letter? Won't you? Now, so for rule number four, verb in an imperative. For the verb in an imperative sentence, denotes when the verb in an imperative sentence denotes reprimand, the question tag can't is used. So when the verb in an imperative sentence, that is a sentence that is giving instruction or a demand or making a request, indicates a uh, reprimand, the negative question tag is used. Oh, it's a um, it's two in one kind of rule. So for the second part, negative imperative takes affirmative question tag. So when you're giving an instruction, a negative instruction like please don't do this thing, the affirmative question tag will be used. Okay, so don't do this, don't give me that, don't do this, don't go here. So it's kind of uh, imperatives, negative imperatives will always take uh, a, 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 a negative question tag, an affirmative question tag, sorry. So use your own car, can't you? Use your own book, can't you? So the can't you is being used here, as, insist, uh, as implied by the first uh, rule, first part of rule number four. So question number, rule number five, question tag of negative imperative is affirmative. For instance, the negative instruction, don't open the window, will take the, uh, the affirmative, will you? Don't speak there, will also take will you? Now, for rule number six, if the imperative sentence begins with let us or let's, it denotes proposal or suggestion. When the condition is stated, when the condition stated is met, the question tag shall we is used. So examples, let us dance, shall we? Let us help them, shall we? Let us go to the mall together, shall we? Let's sing the hymn, shall we? And let's pray, shall we? So you can see in all these examples, the condition has been met. So um, the question tag shall we, shall we will be used. Now, rule number seven, if the imperative begins with let me, let him, let her, let them, let, then use the question tag will you. So let with any um, pronoun. Examples, let me do this work for you, will you? Let her, buy, let her be my beloved. Will you? Let him go on hot. Will you? Etc. Rule number eight. If the verb used to is used in a sentence, the negative verb using or didn't is used in a question tag. So this one is quite flexible. You have two possible um, question tags for it, using or didn't. Examples. He used to come here. Using he. He used to come here every day. Didn't he. So the same sentence, but two possible um, question tags. More examples, they used to play together using they, they used to play together, didn't they? So you can see they both make a lot of sense, so you can use any of the question tag. Now to the next rule, rule number nine, when they're not or daren't and need not or needn't are used in a sentence, the affirmative question tag is used. Okay, so when you have those negative um, verbs, for example, he daren't come here, dare he, I needn't go there. Need I? He needs not to work hard in life. Need he? He dare not face your your teacher. Dare you? You dare touch the naked wire. Dare you? There, dare they? So negative um, verbs like daren't and uh, needn't take positive question tag. So rule number ten. Last but not the least, rule number ten. So the tenth rule states that. If the verb there and need are used as main verbs in a sentence, its question tag is followed or formed as follows. Okay, so for the rule number 10, we are talking more about there and need. So, he dares to oppose his father, doesn't he? He needs, she needs your book, doesn't she? We needed your help, didn't we? She dared to abuse me, didn't she? They to go there, do they? Alright, so these are examples on how to use there as the main verb and the question tag to form. So what you see on the top right um, hand corner is, uh, is a picture from my last um, class. That is, um, what's it called? Adjectiva order. So please do check out that video. The link is in the description below. So thanks. Thanks a lot. So please do check out the video, Adjectiva order. It covers everything about adjectives. Now, for more um, practice questions, please try this. Try out these questions. When you get your answer, you can just send me a mail at um, 
yarrowrockbauer at gmail.com. So we have more questions here, like lovely day today. What's the question tag on it? I'm clever. What's the question tag on it? She's collecting stickers. So what's the question tag on that? So if you have any question, please leave a comment or send email at yarrowrockbauer at gmail.com. So please feel free to communicate with me. I'm always available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please keep supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate the love, the, 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 the everything you guys have enjoyed me. Thanks for the love. And now let's follow me on Twitter at BawaRoxy or at Craving Success HVT. Please search the wife's assignment in Google and you always find me. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.